Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate S3 bucket creation using Ansible playbook and Jenkins pipeline. So if you look at the process flow diagram here, the Jenkins, so I already have Jenkins configured. So this Jenkins also has Ansible plugin installed. So this is the Ansible plugin. And then Jenkins also has Ansible installed. So this is the EC2 instance, Jenkins EC2 instance. So as you can see here, we have already installed Ansible. And then we also have installed Boto framework as well. So Boto is nothing but uh, say AWS SDK for Python. So using this, um, Ansible can access AWS services. So we also have installed this as well. And then uh, if you look at my GitHub repository, so I have created a repository with a bunch of uh, Ansible playbooks. So we are going to execute this particular playbook, which is actually going to create S3 bucket in AWS cloud. It's a very simple playbook, nothing fancy. Uh, so this is the bucket name, this is the region. Okay, and these are some of the tags. Okay, and then we are going to display what is being created, right? So it's a pretty simple uh, playbook okay so that's it right so all we have to do is just create a jenkins pipeline and then go ahead and then execute the playbook that's it awesome so let's get started so if you look at the prerequisites yes we did talk about a couple of items uh, but one important thing if you see here we need to create a im role with this particular policy because this playbook is going to create S3 bucket in AWS cloud. So you need to have a proper permission in your EC2 instance. You can use access key and secret key or you can use IAM role, but I would prefer this one since uh, the EC2 instance is running obviously in, in, in the AWS cloud, right? So Jenkins EC2 instance. So you don't need to go for access key and secret key. You can just uh, go ahead with IAM role, okay? So I can also show you that as well. Uh, this is the Jenkins EC2 instance, which already has Ansible installed. So if you go under security tab, so, so this is the Ansible uh, IAM role, right? Which has, uh, you know, the permission to create uh, S3 bucket. Okay, wonderful. All right, so let's get started. So all we have to do is uh, go ahead and then create a Jenkins pipeline since we already have a playbook created. So let me go to Jenkins dashboard, uh, create a new item. So I'm going to create a new pipeline job. Uh, click on pipeline, say okay. So go to pipeline. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead with a very simple pipeline. So click on hello world. So this is going to create a pipeline script for us. Okay, so I'm going to kind of customize this pipeline. So the first stage is going to be checkout. So we are going to check out code from GitHub repository. So one thing to note is I made sure this is public repository so anyone can access it. So the best thing for you all would be you can fork my repository and then you can make use of the code or you can also directly check out from my repository as well without password. So since this is a public repository, um, we don't have to use username and password to check out. So I'm going to click on checkout. I'm going to create a, a pipeline code for checking out from GitHub repository. So enter the repo URL. So you don't have to provide the credential. The branch name is master. So you can see that here. So let's go ahead and then click on generate pipeline script. There we go. So that's the script for checking out code from that particular repository. Okay, wonderful. Apply and save. Let's go ahead and then run the pipeline. So just to make sure that, you know, we are able to check out the code from GitHub. Wonderful. So we got the code, everything is there. So this, so we have full access to the um, all playbooks, okay? So the next uh, stage is going to be, we need to go ahead and then execute the playbook. So I'm going to call this as execute stage. And I'm going to put a steps block because this is a declarative pipeline. Again, you can also create a Jenkins file and then you can write all your pipeline code as part of your Jenkins file. But the goal for this particular video is, you know, how you can execute 
a playback using Jenkins pipeline. That's all. Okay, so you can do however you want. Okay, so since we have already installed the uh, Ansible plugin, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leverage uh, the, the snippet generator in order to generate a pipeline uh, code for Ansible, I mean, executing the Ansible playbook. So if you click on the drop down, as you can see here, you already see this option, right? If you don't see this option by yourself, then make sure you install the Ansible plugin, okay? Okay, so very good, right? So so this is going to kind of, uh, you know, help us to create a pipeline script. So, so it is asking for playbook file path. Since our playbook is right here in the root uh, folder of the directory, so I'm going to go ahead and then mention the name. That's it. That's it, right? Then I don't need anything else actually because we are going to execute this playbook right on this uh, Jenkins EC2 instance, right? So you don't have to provide anything else. So go ahead and then click on generate pipeline script. There you go. So that's the code for us. So copy that and go to pipeline and then you can paste it, okay? And then what I also wanted to do, um, Whenever you execute Ansible playbook in Ubuntu, sometime you know you may see some warnings. So I want to suppress those warnings. So I have written a piece of code here, so you can execute this particular command. Um, so I'm I'm also going to add that as well here. So this is to suppress warning, and then next line is to execute the playbook perfect okay i think that's pretty much it over there click on apply save click on build now okay so right now uh, the pipeline is being executed there you go everything is good so as you can see here uh, s3 bucket is created we already got confirmation OK equal to two. So if I log in into AWS Cloud, so this is the S3 console, click on, uh, let's refresh it. Wow, there you go. You see here, so today is March 7th. So we were able to create the S3 bucket, right? So that's it guys, you know, that's how you can automate your playbook execution using Jenkins pipeline. Thank you for watching this video.